Good morning, boys and girls. It's Monday, May 11th. I hope everyone had a nice Mother's Day. I had a really nice Mother's Day because I got to go to San Diego and see my daughter and my son came from Portland. And uh, he's holding the camera right now. He's gonna help me out today. <laughs> Say hi, Alec. <laughs> okay, well, before we let the butterflies go today, I wanted to share this poster. I've been wanting to share it with you and we just haven't had time. So we keep talking about what the difference between a cocoon and a chrysalis is, and this is gonna show us there's a difference between butterflies and moss. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly. And you guys know that because you're experts now, aren't you? Okay, our caterpillars come out of eggs. This is the larva stage. This is the chrysalis, the pupa stage, and then out comes an adult butterfly, okay? Now a moth is very similar starts out as an egg okay this is a larva stage or a caterpillar but it's going to make a cocoon so the pupa and then the cocoon is just a harder shell the chrysalis is kind of like a wrapper and the cocoon is like a, a, a hard shell okay but the same thing when it's ready to come out it bites a little hole the cocoon splits open and out comes an adult moth Okay, now this is just, I think it's so interesting. When I bought this poster, I remember I learned a lot of things. So, um, you know, once we're done, you can impress your parents. You can tell them some of these butterfly and moth facts, okay? The difference between butterflies and moths is butterflies fly during the day. Most moths fly at night and they're attracted to the light. Have you ever been outside at night with the porch light on and the moths are flying around? They, they like the light, they're attracted to it. Most butterflies have long, slender bodies. Most moths have short, thick bodies. So take a look at the butterfly's body. It's kind of skinny, right? Long and slender. And the moth's body is much fatter. Okay, all right. Butterflies have knobs at the tips of their antenna. Most moths have either paint pointed or feathery antenna. Okay, so here's the adult butterfly with the little knobs at the top of the antenna. And then the moth has kind of feathery antenna. Okay, now this is the interesting one. We, we figured this out when we saw our butterflies the other day. Butterflies rest with their wings straight up over their bodies. Moths fold their wings over their bodies or hold them flat at their sides. Back up for a second. Okay, so the butterfly holds his wings up here when it's resting and the moth lays down like this when it's resting. Okay, butterflies can be raised in captivity. That means if you catch a butterfly outside and you put it in a jar, poke some holes, give it some sugar water or flowers, you can keep the butterfly for a few weeks and observe it. But moths die, they do not live long in captivity. So if you try to catch like, some moths and put them in a jar, they're probably, gonna, you're gonna wake up the next morning and they might be dead. So you wanna just not do that. Now butterflies, you can raise them in captivity, but do you think they like being uh, in a jar? Who thinks so? No. So. <laughs> okay, so here, let's give you a little quiz. So boys and girls, I can't see you, but I'm gonna say a fact, okay? If you think it's a butterfly, you can point to this side, okay? Or how about this, put your right arm out. And if you think it's a moth, I did that wrong. Right arm for the moth, left arm for the butterfly. Okay, let's see, which one has a fat, plump body? I'll give you a second, okay? The moth has a fat body. All right, which one has the knobs on top of the antenna? Is that the moth or the butterfly? I'll give you a minute. Butterflies have the little knobs, okay? Which one uh, rests with their arms straight up like this, folded up, their wings folded up? It's the butterfly. Okay, which one flies at night? Butterfly or moth? The moth. Okay, good job, you guys. Great. <laughs> okay, we're gonna head outside, but before we do, I'm gonna teach you a little song. Alec, feel free to sing along, okay? <laughs> it's really easy. So, you guys, I want you guys to stand up. I want you to start flapping your wings, and we're gonna sing. Ready? Fly, little butterfly, flutter, flutter, fly, little butterfly, flutter, flutter, fly, little butterfly, flutter. <laughs> Turn yourself around, sorry. 
Okay, dance little butterfly, dance in the garden. Dance little butterfly, dance in the garden. Okay, I can't. All right, here's the butterflies. Here they are, they're all flying around in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take one at a time out. They're not sure what to do when they first come out because they've only flown around. Oops, there, there he goes. goes. <laughs> Awesome. So we're in my backyard and there's a lot of plants. So this is just a really good spot to let them go. Okay, here's another one. Oh, the wings are really delicate, so let's see if we can get this one. That. Wow. I thought I would have to place them over here. Let's follow me over here and let's just see what it does. I was hoping they would stick around for a little while. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> Okay, that was two. All right, this one looks pretty strong. I spilled some water. Oh, awesome. Nice. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow, they're doing so good. Hi, little butterfly. Okay, is that three? Mm -hmm. All right, here's four. This one's hard to catch. Feisty. Feisty one. Whoa. Five. They're hard to get. Okay. And then this one might be the one. No, this one looks fine. One of them has the wings are a little bit. Uh, yeah, that one looks like maybe one of the wings. Oh, yeah. So, well, I can't tell. Because they learned yesterday. No, this one's perfectly fine, isn't it? Wow. Got to focus on that. There we go. Fly, little butterfly. Flutter, flutter. Fly, little butterfly. Flutter, flutter. Here you go, bud. Take your time. Turn yourself around. Dance, little butterfly. Dance in the garden. Dance, little butterfly. Dance in the garden. Oh, I think that was it. That is. See, we did such a good job because I thought that one. Oh, here it is. There was one. Remember the one that the chrysalis had fallen down and I taped it to the top? The wings are not quite formed as well as the other ones. I think it's this one, yeah. So look, Aww. yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put it over here. I'll put it in this plant. And we'll see what happens. Yeah. Okay, bye-bye little butterflies. Thank you. See you soon.